Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to take up one very very interesting question from sequence and series. Here we have to evaluate this sum. So let's get started by considering sum equal to s. Now we will simplify this radicant itself. So I will write here 1 plus 1 over k square plus 1 over k plus 1 whole square. This will be equal to 1 plus, we will take LCM here. So we can write k square times k plus 1 whole square and then we need to write in the numerator k plus 1 whole square plus k square. Now we will simplify this part. So I can write will be equal to plus, plus k plus 1 whole square. We will use a plus b whole square identity k square plus 2k plus 1. Then we have k square term in denominator. We will write k square times k plus 1. Then we will write power 2. This will be equal to 1 plus k square plus k square will be equal to 2k square. Then we have plus 2k. Then we have plus 1. In denominator, we will write k square times k plus 1 whole square. Now we are going to take two common from first two term of the rational right hand side. So I can write this will be equal to 1 plus 2 is common and k is also common. So let us take 2k common. So in the bracket we will write k plus 1. Then we have plus 1 left. In denominator we will write k square times k plus 1 whole square. Now we will distribute our numerator with respect to denominator and we will write 2 times k times k plus 1 over denominator k square times k plus 1 whole square. Then we have 1 in the numerator. So we will write 1 with denominator k square times k plus 1 whole square. Now we will cancel here k times k plus 1 with this power 2. So we will write here 1 plus 2 times 1 over k plus 1 times 1 over k or 1 over k times 1 over k plus 1 plus here I can write 1 over k times k plus 1 and then we will put whole power 2 and if I will consider 1 as 1 is square then this is algebraic formula if I will write here a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is nothing but a plus b whole square. So we will write our RHS 1 plus 1 over k times k plus 1 whole square. This is our simplification of general term. Now we are going to apply this value over here. Let's write our sum. So I will write sum s equal to sigma k equal to 1 to k equal to 40 square root of 1 plus 1 over k times k plus 1 and then we will put whole power 2. 
this is what we simplified now a square root and a square will be over so i can write sum s equal to sigma k equal to 1 to 40 then we will write 1 plus 1 over k times k plus 1 Or we can write this will be equal to sigma k equal to 1 to 40 1 plus sigma k equal to 1 to 40 1 over k times k plus 1. Now we know that if we are adding 40 ones, we will be getting sum 40 plus sigma k equal to 1 to 40. Now here we can use partial fraction or we can write directly the result of that 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. If we will take LCM, we will get our denominator k times k plus 1 and numerator will be k plus 1 minus k which will give us 1. So we can use this result. Now we will apply all the values of k. So let me write s equal to 40 plus sigma k equal to 1 to 40 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. This will be equal to 40 plus. Let's put all the values of k. So k equal to 1. We will get 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. k equal to 2. We will get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. k equal to 3. 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 and so on. k equal to 40. We will write here. 1 over 40 minus 1 over 41. Now we will cancel the terms which we can cancel. So this will be over with the previous term. So it will be left only 1 over 1, the very first term, and the last term minus 1 over 41. So I can write here this will become 40 plus 1 over 1 is 1 minus 1 over 41. Now we will take LCM here and we can write sum s will be equal to 40 plus. We will write 1 as 41 over 41 minus 1 over 41. This will be equal to 40 plus 41 minus 1 is 40 denominator is common denominator 41. Now this is our sum s. Now we can simplify to get the final answer. So we can write s will be equal to, we will write 40 times 41, 1640 plus 40 and denominator is 41 which will give us 1680 over 41. So our answer becomes sum is equal to 1680 over 4141. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.